Hey, it's Jared here at All About Cars. Today we've got the uh, 98 Ford F-150 mm -hmm. with the wonderful um, rear ABS brake system light. Comes on, stays on, not cool. Does this on, off, and back on to stay on. So hey, what you do to diagnose these is they have this handy, handy connector right here, passenger side, kick panel, black wire, orange stripe, unplug that thing, plug on some way of accessing it. We plug the wire into it. Turns the key on. Okay, so with the key on, briefly touch that orange wire thing, black wire orange stripe to ground. That should do it. Read out codes on the light. Oh, I must not have got it. Okay. Now we're there. Okay. Eight. Eight flashes. Short flashes. All by one long flash. Okay. Normally, with that code, you just go ahead and um, replace the rear ABS sensor. It's on the top of the rear pumpkin. It's got one bolt that holds on. It's got a red wire with pink stripe and a green wire with black stripe that go to it. But in my case, um, I know that that's not the problem <laughs> because, okay, so that wire comes up from the back comes to this connector right here and on this side you can see a green wire with a black stripe and on this side you can see this one, the smaller one is the red wire with the pink stripe get your handy dandy multimeter if it's um, auto ranging just set it to ohms if it's not auto ranging Set it to um, kilo ohms or k ohms. Take your jumper. Plug on to. Okay, those are the pins you want to hook to. Maybe not. I got it backwards. Sorry about that. Oh, physics. Now we're on the right path here. Those are the pins you want. You want a reading in between 1,000 and 2,000 ohms, or 1K ohm to 2K ohm. We have 1.43. We know our rear sensor is good. We know the wires to the sensor are good. Plug that back in. Okay, from there, those wires go to the middle PAL connector, which I've got set up for easy access here. That's the three connectors on the firewall. Bring everything on this side of the truck from the outside to the inside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm going it anyway. Oh well. I gotta resolder this for test purposes because I have it set up to try to expedite this video, which isn't working that well.
Okay. Now we're back in business. If I didn't do that, we would not get a good test here. I have it set up for my solution to problem. Okay, with the okay with the appropriate pins connected to my multimeter here. That's our reading, so we know it's getting from all the way from the back sensor to that connector to PAL connector. We're good. I think my wires will behave themselves here. Quit crossing them. Okay, so we're good there. Our issue is to plug this back in. Okay. Why do I bother? I don't know. Show people who feel it. So your ABS module, rear ABS on the Ford trucks. There's radio. Top your dash. It's right under there. So you take this panel off to access it. Connector is right back here, and it is just in a wonderful spot. The release tab is in the middle of the connector on the top gotta get in there and push that release oh my goodness what fun is this I do not like where they put this because my fat little fingers can barely get that release tab pushed and pull the wire at the same time. Man, this is the doggondest thing. This is where we invent um, new, new words for fun. <laughs> of all the fun in the world there that is real good times okay now we've accessed our connector so we will go ahead the meter and our wires that we want are Red wire, pink stripe. Green wire, black stripe. They are... Oops. You know, you know. We are there. We are getting wide open. So we know this is broke. One of those two wires is broken. So we have some jumper wires. Here for our convenience, we'll put the blue one onto the green wire with the red stripe or black stripe, and we'll put the red wire onto the red wire with the pink stripe. Okay, we are we should be jumpered to an outside world. Plug this back in. back out to over here okay once again access our power connector I've got the bolt out of it so that it just unplugs real easily okay, out of the way 
Okay, let's see. We are gonna start with the green wire with the black stripe. That guy is down there and on the connector at the firewall. On the inner row of pins should be the second pin from the corner. Too much coffee. Okay. So we're we're plugged in there to it. Now we're gonna find our blue jumper wire that we ran out here. Gravity is not playing nice today. Okay, and pardon me, the pin we're after is actually the one from the corner should be that one man of all the fun I did not set up my test gear as streamlined as I thought it had okay so here we go we are green wire with black stripe is good to move over to the pin we were on before. Second one from the corner. That's the red wire with the pink stripe. Man, I am having a lot of fun right now. Look. Wow. Uh, okay. We are. Getting um, not the greatest readings there. <laughs> Definitely have a problem with that wire. All over the place. Yeah, bad. Okay, so now we're going to, we have already run a replacement wire for that, which I have to solder to the truck side. Well, I apologize guys, this is just a lot of fun to do all in real time. could scream at the frustration of trying to do these kind of things. Wow. I am making a big mess. I'll show you here what kind of a mess I'm making. It will definitely have to be cleaned up later. Overheated this solder joint and ran out of flux for making this connection. Okay, that one's connected. Jeez Louise. Okay, we have soldered our jumper. We're gonna have to come back to it and clean that up, but anyway, it's connected. <laughs> Okay. Check the inside here. 
unplug our jumpers, get our, we're gonna have to connect this one to our jumper wire. we have set right here. Okay. We're connected there. There we go. We run a new wire to replace the section where it's broken. We're going to plug this back in. Like I said, this connector is just connected to the most clinkety clinkety. Okay, now with that done. When we turn the key on, we should get the normal action of the light. Off. It should stay off. Pretty cool. Yeah, broken wire in the dash. Somewhere between the rear ABS module and the PAL connector on the firewall. I think if I put this back into diagnostic mode, we should get, I believe, was it 16 flashes? Is the system good to go? and clears the codes. So, we will, we got our Dealey Bob in the chassis. See if we're flashing out 16. We just have to connect this for a short little time. Okay, I bet you it's 16, which is system good to go. Yep, 16 flashes means that your system is good. So, connect her back to the red one. And we verify. Well, I really hope that this uh, rear wheel ABS on the Ford trucks, you know, late 90s, help somebody out at least it shows you where the diagnostic connector is where the rear ABS module is located where the connections between the rear ABS sensor and the rear ABS module are located and what pins go to the wires that go to that sensor hope it helped have a good one good luck all Bye.